from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. All right, that'll be a fun weekend event. In the meantime, we had quite our snow event occurring last night and early this morning. This is up in Blue Jacket, up to the northeast of Tulsa. And this Brian Kelly sent this picture in, looking good out there. And cows are just like, where's my hay? I need my hay. I need my hay. Well, we found a snowman over in Silver City. Sharon sent this picture in, and again, Looks like the son was pretty doggone happy with his creation. And it was a cute snowman, and again, the snow was just about perfect. Wanted to share with you, though, what was so weird was the fact that Tulsa didn't pick up any snow. And you'll look on radar, and you'll see how it's developing last night. And uh, this is about 2 o'clock in the morning. And what's this green thing here? That's like rain. Why is it raining in Tulsa, and why is it snowing all the way around? This rest of this blue is snow. So why is that happening? Well, here's what happened, we do believe. And again, it takes a little bit more research than just what we have, but I do believe that this is pretty close. So as the storm system was coming in, we've been naming it the donut hole. It was a year ago, we had a very similar situation. Snowed almost every other place except in Tulsa. So you know that we talk about the uh, pretty much the heat dome, the heat island effect right around Tulsa. So that means there's warm air because it's concentrated because of concrete and asphalt and buildings and things like that. And since we're so concentrated together, it gives off a little bit more heat and that heat even though we had a strong northeast wind still was up above uh, the surface by several hundred feet as compared to the outlying areas so when we started getting snow falling in the area the snow was falling all around but the biggest thing about it is the fact that when you're in the outlying areas it was freezing all the way down to near the surface so the snow didn't have a chance to melt but because over the city we had a longer, larger area of warm air that was above freezing. As the snow fell, it started to melt and turn back into rain. So that is one of the major reasons why we ended up with no snow in Tulsa. And you can blame it on the heat island effect or you can thank the heat island effect because we do believe that had a major role in what we were doing. It also looks uh, pretty obvious when we go and take a look at the uh, latest radar picture showing where it did snow. Check out this little island of no snow. And we had snow to the south, to the west, to the north, to the east. And the heaviest snows were concentrated more out to the north around Bartlesville and then also up to the east around Rose. Well, we had some pretty pictures. This out of Zena. And uh, this is uh, Brandy Viles. And it's just gorgeous. It's almost untouched land there. I think some goats were getting fed in the background. 41 degrees, though, tonight. We have mostly clear skies, west wind at 6 miles per hour. Our temperatures in most of the metro have dropped into the 40s and upper 30s. We are down to 33 in Pryor and 34 in Wagner and 36 over in Claremore. And most of the state, similar story, just a few degrees colder up to the northwest in Buffalo and also in Guyman in the Panhandle. By morning, we should be in the upper 20s, low 30s, but we do have a southwest wind, so it might be a hair warmer. And then tomorrow's a beautiful afternoon. Light winds, lots of sun sunshine, gorgeous weather. Wednesday afternoon, we're in the mid to upper 60s. The only problem with Wednesday, Valentine's Day, winds could be gusting over 25 miles per hour. So it'll be a very breezy day for hanging on to a bouquet of roses. And then on Thursday afternoon, still not bad. We have a boundary coming through, so I'll knock our temperatures down a few degrees, but it's still incredibly awesome. Then by Friday, here come clouds and temperatures will be in the 50s. Then we drop down into the low 40s by Saturday. So it is going to be colder as we head toward Friday night and Saturday. We have taken out the chance of showers for now, it looks like, on Friday. All right, and just a wee bit chilly, we'll call it, in the morning. Frosty, upper 20s to low 30s. By noon, we're at 54. Uh, it's warming on up. Looks very nice. And 61 in the afternoon. As we say, now we're talking. Looking awful nice. And as we extend the forecast out, Fat Tuesday for tomorrow, good. And then Ash Wednesday and, of course, Valentine's Day on Wednesday. Looks fantastic. Dropping off there. Gets pretty cold next Saturday, but we rebound so fast. And the new data continues to show nice weather for President's Day and on out there for a little bit. Nice. We'll take yeah. it. Thank right. you.